welcome back or welcome to our channel. It's Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education and lifestyle. Y'all, <laughs> this is the second time I'm trying to start this vlog because the first time around, I just talked the most to my friends and then I realized that my mic was actually not on and that we had no audio, so there's that. But anyway, so the short of it is that we're getting the day started. The kids have been moving along in their schedule like they normally are. Um, it's been a good thing. It's been a really frustrating uh, few months of homeschool life for me as homeschool mom, but I've learned so much. And um, the kids just really have been working their way through their routine uh, normally during the day and it's been really good for them to just learn what it means to grow in knowledge and uh let you know just not going overboard with planning life so what we try to do is focus on just a project a day and today's project is actually i'm very excited about we're going to finally get our seeds started we are the falco family brian serena cameron kendall and savannah a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn to be i don't know how many year what year this is of being out in our garden in the backyard but it's just been great like we haven't had any tremendous expectations we just kind of start each year by sowing some seeds and observing and we do that every year and i feel like we're growing in knowledge every year that we put our hands to our garden and this year is going to be no different um this time around we're trying to do a lot more experimenting than normal uh, i want to just get a lot of seeds in the ground or in pots or wherever <laughs> little spaces all out in amidst our backyard um so we have our square foot garden area we have a, a vertical garden area some window boxes to put some um seeds and then some other spaces and i want to add a lot more containers to the mix this time around so i'm probably going to go ahead and print out their garden journals for the year just so I can get their idea about what they would like to see out in the garden and then it gives them a nice start for keeping a garden journal throughout this season and just taking note of the things we plant and the things they harvest and what they do with the things they harvest and it's just really exciting. Um, for our writing projects with our newspaper, Kendall is our groundskeeper so he has been he's pretty much the one that really like backs the things in our garden and he's really looking forward to y'all know he's our chef um as well so he's really looking forward to taking the things that he harvests out of the ground and then bringing them into the kitchen and seeing what he can make with them so that's gonna i'm really looking forward to that also what else was i gonna say Oh yeah, and then we also have our kitchen remodel to look forward to, so I'm excited about that. And my goal for the kitchen is really to make it extremely functional for every one of us to be in in and throughout the day. So I'm trying to put a lot more thought into that whole process to make sure that things are accessible for the kids in the kitchen and more specifically for Kendall because I want him to just be able to like move and navigate and maneuver in the kitchen um feeling like it's his own like it's his own little restaurant we normally start seeds inside of egg crates because they are biodegradable and all that jazz but um egg crates have a very small little surface area under which we can start the seeds and i wanted to try something a bit different especially because i just wanted to start a lot more experiments um, when it comes to our seed starting so I decided to get like um, those plastic kits that of course we can then recycle if you're new here then you may not know that we are a family of filmmakers and journalists in our homeschool life and one of my major projects as their homeschool mom is to produce a documentary of our homeschool and life and so it is a big project that is going to take some time and it's really exciting but it can be very overwhelming because it is more of a long-term project um, but one of the things that I'm working on right now besides you know gathering footage is organizing said footage <laughs> so organizing thoughts and feelings and writings um organizing audio recordings and video clippings and photographs like that is the whole thing so i'm really trying to develop a good system that is going to make it even 
more pleasant um, for us to pull together like the film footage for when whenever it is to be done. I'm also trying to properly like move all of the things over to my iPad to make sure that I am working to get myself like working solely from my iPad um, because I do a lot of things still on my computer and I don't want to do that. I want to be completely over to the iPad and then also probably around or towards the end of the year, I want us to be completely like completely digital, which we are like 80 something percent a digital, you know, about that digital homeschool life, but we still um, lean into paper goods, you know, from time to time. But I really want us to move all the way 100% over. Um, and what I, I'm thinking is that I'll probably phase into it starting with Cameron first. So he will be the one that will be 100% digital first. And then I'll give the other two some time to catch up since they are a little younger, of course. I think that's one of the challenges with homeschool life is trying to figure out how to like manage the different levels if you have different levels in your homeschool life. Um, but I'm getting there, friends. Also, I made some progress with wrapping my mind around our gap year. I still haven't posted that update yet. Um, and that's because I'm still kind of ironing out thoughts and feelings and, you know, the way we're going to go about that. But it's coming along and I'm excited about that. So eventually I'll share. Um... So yeah, I'm like almost 100% over to my iPad. Um, I am starting to learn more and more how to edit on my iPad, which is great for my hand. Um, if you guys have been around for a little bit, then one of the biggest challenges in me being consistent with editing and uploading um, has been my hand. <laughs> so I started having a lot of issues with my hand, my right hand in particular, but also my left hand, and it's made it just so, so hard for me to edit. And when I do get in and edit, um, it would just cause me a lot of pain afterwards. So I have a lot of things that I have filmed that I've had to just kind of let go of um, because I couldn't get it edited in time and posted in time. Um, so I've made adjustments. I'm not going anywhere. We're still here, friends. Um, but I have had to definitely adjust it. It's been really frustrating. But not all is lost because a lot of the footage that I have filmed, I can still repurpose and use for our main, you know, purpose, which was for our film. But in the meantime, as far as keeping in touch and being able to share here, I just haven't been able to do that as much. And it has really been frustrating for me, but it's something that I'm learning a lot from. In the meantime, um, I have been able to take some time to learn how to use a new program for editing straight from my iPad. And that has been a whole thing. <laughs> I feel like it gave me a chance to really have an extra layer of empathy towards the kids in their learning journey because I think sometimes we take for granted or we don't pay attention to how much or how difficult it can be to learn a new thing sometimes. Um, because I just had such a familiarity with the current program like um, that I was using for editing that it's just second nature. You barely think about it. And now having to move over to a new program, it was just really hard. Like, I feel like I had a whole fit. Like, <laughs> I had a whole fit, like, about trying to learn a new platform, a new program. It was just making me upset, okay? And um, I think through that process, I just learned how to have that extra layer of empathy because learning something new is challenging and it can be very hard, but it really has so much to do with the attitude that you take in approaching learning that new thing. And I feel like those things that I'm always constantly telling the kids about uh, keeping a good attitude, I actually had to, you know, adapt myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have a lot more empathy for them when they're getting frustrated with new things and when they're trying to work their way through things that are making them frustrated. I have a lot more empathy and my heart goes out to them a lot more now um, having to go through the process of learning this new platform in order to figure out how to um, edit straight from my iPad. So I just feel like it's a perfect example of life being so very full of lessons <laughs> and our goal really is to live and to learn. So I'm very excited. It's taken me some time. I thought I would just, you know, 
get my iPad and jump all the way right in and that's just not what happened and I think it very much so speaks to the fact that you can have tools that will definitely help you accomplish your goals but you still have to do the work you know you still have to have a good attitude and an open heart and mind to just spend the time that is required for you to learn that thing and I think that really speaks to how we are nowadays where we feel like everything needs to happen now but learning is a journey it's a process it is not going to be something that is just kind of like set it and forget it or you know some microwavable thing um sometimes it's a process and it takes time maybe if i back up a bit you can see me i don't know i don't know see let's open it up just like that they have 12 cells three four rows of three three rows of four you know the deal so there are 12 cells in here and they just look like that then we have the bottom that kind of catches the water then we have a little plastic top that goes over top of it and one of these situations here 12 of these then I also got a ton of these. They're like little pots with some aeration down there and a little tray at the bottom so that we can just plant as many seeds as our hearts desire. And then I got these little cute labels just because spent way too much money on them, but it's okay. <laughs> so these are just gonna help us label the things that we plant this time around i ordered them on amazon so we'll see how they go um i got them from garden greens eight organic greens is in this one from rebel gardens romaine little gem lettuce bloomingdale spinach swiss chard which i'm very excited about um we have planted swiss chard twice before but last year we did not plant it and i regretted it because i really enjoy watching swiss chard grow and i enjoy eating it as well plus it's super packed with lots of dense nutrients so love that for us so that's what's in this pack it's our herb pack um chives cilantro dill fennel oregano sweet basil thai basil parsley sage thyme is all in here carrots and cabbage bok choy um, cucumber, kale, onion, pepper, radish, squash. And then I got one pack of fruit. So we are going to experiment with a lot of things we already have um, in the house, in our refrigerator, in our pantry. I want it to be very experimental for the kids. So I want them to take lots of things. And this comes from inspiration from them because I can't tell you how many times I've had kids will come up to me and show me the seed that came out of something or ask me if we plant this will this grow this so this is the time where I want us to do that like if we plant this will it grow this and uh we just kind of experiment our little hearts away I have all the melons basically so I've got some sugar baby watermelon some um crimson sweet watermelon, some cantaloupe, some yellow canary melon, and some honeydew. So we're going to see see if this brings us any goodness this summer. And then that's it, friends. I also got a puzzle. Um, I'm not typically a puzzle person, but I feel like lately... I have, you know how people always say when they're filming, they never know what to do with their hands. Like that's kind of how I feel about our study time sometimes because a lot of times I read um, whatever's on my reading list or I'm really trying to avoid doing a lot of work related things like personal work related things during our study time because I want to be available to them. Uh, but at the same time, they don't need me for as much. It's like a very strange transition. Let me know if you guys know what I mean. Um, so I need to find other things to kind of fill up my time and allow me to just kind of like enjoy while still being on deck if they have questions or if they need help. Um, so I figured I would try out puzzles um, or I don't know. Puzzling is one of the things I thought maybe I could try during that time where they're studying, they're at their little devices, or they're writing, or they're reading, um, and it's not always the easiest for maybe me to read 
um, or study necessarily, but I wanted to have something that I could just kind of put my hands to and keep me occupied and productive. And so your girl got her first puzzle. I got my first puzzle and this one is so pretty. It's got a little taxi, lots of little beautiful blooms and the city in the background. I feel like this is so me. It has all the things I really enjoy except for water. There's no water here, but still love it just the same. All right, now I caught you all up. Now we actually have to get this stuff together. I think Brian says it's not super cold outside, so I may give the kids a choice as to whether or not they want to do it in the garage or do it out in the back because it's going to be dirt everywhere So, and lots of labeling. So we shall see. You want to come say hi? Actually. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and print out our garden bingo and um, growth journal and diary. I just printed out one of them because I pretty much just put them on their devices. So. They have them digitally, and then I have one that I printed out physically. and onion, oh! kill it, tomato. Fancy. Making our way, friends. Um, I've got these that I spilled a little bit, but don't worry about it. And we have all of these with their little um, seed spaces carved out. So we're gonna start putting seeds in. Savannah labeled all of those over there. And now I'm going to clean off the, like, the sides. I'm gonna clean off the sides of these just so they're not so messy. And then we're going to add a little dot of like glue at the bottom four corners of these so that so that we can attach it to these to just make it a little bit more secure for when we move it around. Cameron gets to bring out his glue gun. It's wireless. Did you get it for Christmas or your birthday? I think Grammy got it for you for your birthday. All right. <laughs> I don't know, what are you talking about? Remember when we'd have those giraffes so we would look at the camera? Yes! <laughs> I do. Just say hi, friends. Hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. The do is put six. Stop. It's one section. She told you. Six cells. The one had the same thing. All kind of paint. I mean, do you plant. Plant. The oh, seeds like this, into the no, pots, no, no, no. and I was doing the labels. Cam into the soil. Kendall was doing the holes. Hi, I'm putting signs in for the garden to so we know which um, ones are which before we forget. Starting seeds today. We're getting ready for the garden. We've got honeydew seeds, watermelon, sugar baby watermelon seeds. And we also got a lot more herbs. We got cilantro, dill, tomatoes like every year. Two types of lettuce, two types of kale. We got two types of a lot of stuff actually. Have you ever planted a garden? If so, what have you put in your garden? So what's your favorite part about planting seeds? Favorite part about planting seeds. You can't say Eat the seeds. Yeah, you can. Peas are seeds. Rice are seeds. Nuts are seeds. Me and Cameron have been a little disappointed that we can't eat almonds anymore. We went to the allergist and she told us that, um, okay, we're a lot disappointed, but she told us that she wants us to stay away from almonds and that I can't really eat any nuts actually.
Okay, it looks like everything fit on our shelves except for like two that I have here. I feel like it really worked out for us to glue the bottoms of these to the tops. It got everybody involved, which was nice. And then afterward, I couldn't find my watering can, so I used I used the one that we have for tea. And I just watered the tops of each of the pots. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one, but okay then. Um, oh they start to sprout to just kind of switch out the labels a bit once they become big enough because these will easily be um, overshadowed once the sprouts start to grow so then then I'll just be able to pop these inside plus they'll make me really happy they're super cute all right friends so I think that's it we did it. <laughs> we got our project finished for the day. I had to go ahead and get a second cup of coffee to make it through and make sure that I got footage and filmed for you guys. And then also footage for the documentary, of course, because I really want to document every like single part of growing season this year. I've done a little bit here and there every year um, that we have been out in the garden, but this time around, I really want to like go in on our growing season as far as documenting is concerned um both for the documentary and then also first and foremost for um the kids and their experiments and their lessons that they're going to learn um in the garden this year so yeah that's it for the day um we're going to switch over to we're going to switch over to doing all the extracurricular things the kids headed outside and we're able to kind of like shoot around and just be out for a little bit even though it's super rainy and slightly chilly um but cameron is heading off to basketball cameron's gonna help me close the vlog thanks for hanging out with us today Just remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to love and learn <laughs> bye. bye thank you bye don't forget to subscribe